How is it going everyone? I hope you're having a great day. Welcome back to another Web Dev Junkie video. My name is Cody Seibert. In this video, I'm going to be doing another CSS battle tutorial. So if you don't know what the site is, it's basically a site you can come in and challenge your CSS knowledge by building out these various shapes. And I've done a couple before in the series and I'm going to pick another one. So I thought that this one in the top right looks pretty cool. So let's go ahead and try to build out this cool little shape out of CSS and HTML and see how hard it is to do. So if you're interested in viewing that, be sure to stick around. All right, so for this challenge, it looks pretty straightforward. Let's just copy the background color and I'm gonna say background of that. Boom, all right, and then we can kind of pick apart this um, picture and try to figure out what's going on. So we can see that there looks like there's a rectangle. There's a long rectangle on the page that maybe we can start with because that's gonna be the furthest back. So I'm gonna treat this rectangle here as our far back rectangle. So I'm gonna say background rect. And we could style that rectangle to be blue. Let's see, let's do this. Let's take this blue color and apply it to that rectangle. And then we're gonna do some stuff to make it match what we're seeing over here. So this might be like 150, we'll figure this out. Um, we could do a position of absolute and we could do a top of 100 pixels. That's a little too low. Let's move it back up. Let's do this. All right, we will find the perfect, I don't know what it is, probably 75. Yeah, 75 looks perfect. And now we just need to move it over some. I'm gonna say that's about 20 or 30 pixels. So I'm gonna say left is 30 pixels. And I was off. Let's try 50 pixels. Boom, all right, so we have, this is what we got now. We just got a rectangle that matches exactly this background rectangle. And now what we could do is start applying the shapes that we see in order over them. So we start off with a blue rectangle. Now we need a a, a teal circle okay so this color we need like a circle so I'll just say like div class of background circle Got some type of error going on there so let's just go ahead and style that background circle and it's going to have a background of that and we could just go ahead and copy position absolute width of 100 height of 100. I'm just playing around with stuff. I'm not really sure what it needs to be, but we do know that it needs to be more towards the center of the page. All right, so we got the rectangle kind of in the middle of the page on top of the rectangle, and now we need to probably give it double the height and bring it up some. So I'll try 50. That looks a little good. And now we need to make it a perfect circle. So I can say border radius of 50% sorry 100% uh, okay because I need to make this width there we go does that match up perfectly does not so we're close but we're not yet there so let's just keep on changing the width and the height and see this one's gonna be hard to figure out I wonder if there's a better way to do this man um that look good oh that's so close <laughs> i think we need to make the circle bigger there's got to be a better way to do this 250 250 let's move it to the left some by in pixels that's too much five pixels man that's so close all right let's move it up some so 25 all right there we got it that looks perfect all right, so we're almost there. What we need to do now is just make two additional circles. So I'm gonna do the uh, the middle blue circle. So let's just make another div and I can call it middle circle, I guess. And it would just make sense to copy this and do what we need to do. So middle circle. And we could change the background color to this and then we can actually visualize what's going on. It's gonna be smaller. So I'll give it a maybe 150 for the width and, width and height. And we'll just keep on moving it over until we get what we need. I'm sure there's a better way to like center this, but isn't it fun just playing with pixel values? That looks okay. 
Okay, that is so close, but it's not there. Um, maybe it's 140. And it's a little high, so let's move it down. So let's give it five pixels height. Nah, that's, that's... You know, I don't waste too much time on this. We'll figure this out. Let's move on to the, the center circle. So I'm gonna make another div called center circle. And we can just waste time with the middle circle in a second because I don't want to bore you bore you all. So let us go ahead and make a yellow one. I'll make it 50 by 50 and I'll just continuously try to get that in the center of the page. Is that good? <laughs> Dude, I can't tell. Uh, our circles are definitely off a little bit, but like, it's so hard to tell like what, what sizes they used. Well, you know what? Sometimes you just have to tell yourself you're close enough and you give up. And that is what I'm doing right now. I'm giving up because this looks good enough. From my perspective, if you take a step back and look at it, it looks pretty close. But then when you slide over and hover with the slide and compare, you can tell it's a little off. But you know what? I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. So I'm going to submit it and I'm probably going to miss some points, but yeah, I missed some points. It's a 98% match. So I'm okay with that. So if you know how to actually position these better and what, what sizes these need to be, like, let me know. Otherwise I could probably spend 30 minutes here just trying to eyeball this and get it to be perfect. And I'm not going to be doing that. So I hope you all liked this video. I thought it was pretty interesting. We learned some stuff about just like the ordering of the divs, just overlaying on top of a stuff and using circles to kind of style this. It looks really sloppy, but let us just go ahead and call it a day. So if you thought this tutorial was interesting or fun to watch, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, be sure to click that subscribe button. And like always, if you have a suggestion as of what I should do next in CSS Battle, uh, feel free to let me know. Up here, there's a ton of different things we can do. I just been starting on battle number one and kind of going through the ones that look cool. I might do this one next. This one looks pretty cool. Or this one or this one, but let me know. I'm open to suggestions. All right, thank you so much for watching, y'all. Happy coding.